address all the last trades that we are going to address in today's day of trade. So we talk about Purvankara. Besides that, a handful of pharma names such as Dr. Reddy's along with Wokhard. And of course, uh, let's not forget Century Ply is also likely to see a sharp, sharp up, up move given the fact that it is looking to break out of that many month range so that will also be in focus but with that we t start with Purvankara. Now this stock has seen a last trade today where we have in fact seen about two and a half lakh shares changing hands and uh, for that I'm going to get in my colleague Anushi Vakarya who is going to tell us a little more about this trade. So Anushi, good afternoon. Let's start by talking about the basics. Can you just give me the details of the trade for now? Good afternoon, Agam. Quite a field day that Purvankara is having today. So just walking right in through the details, about 2.62 lakh shares changed hands in three large trades today. Even the volumes traded at about four times its 30-day average. And if you look at the stock performance, it marked about a 52-week high at rupees 201, gaining about 10.3%. Now, if we, if you are to consider this is in continuation in its earlier Friday trade as well, wherein it was in focus. So, uh, accounting for both of these, about 0.2% equity changed hands in the last two sessions, while the stock performance has awarded its investors about 26% return in just the last two trading sessions itself. About the year-to-date performance, the stock was up about 1, 114%. Just to wrap things up, um, a little points on its Q2 FY24 performance, wherein it had recorded a, a sale, pre sales of about 1,600 crores, registering a 102% growth, while its sales volumes were up about 89% at 2.01 million square feet. So that's all for Purvat Kra today. Right, Anushi, thank you so much for getting us those updates. Uh, a considerable amount of sales in terms of volumes that have come through for Purvankara. But I also spoke to the management earlier, uh, where that is when uh, he suggested uh, and he spoke about the demand outlook, especially given the kind of interest rate scenario and interest rate, interest rate trajectory that we have been seeing as far as India is concerned. And of course, he also spoke about uh, the company's projects going forward. Listen into a slice of that conversation. Uh, look, uh, this current interest rate has been there now for last couple of quarters. So it's really no different than what's happened in last two quarters. Um, therefore, the way we are seeing at this point in time on the ground, there is no impact at all as far as demand is concerned. Now, the new supply that is coming in, um, if you just look at the current status of inventory, even after the new launches that have happened, uh, it's under 12 months. And uh, in many markets, it's under uh, single digits, under nine months, for example. Uh, so we will see micro market to micro market. Of course, that uh, demand supply situ situation could be slightly different in certain markets where there may be a situation where too much supply is coming in. But according to me, on an overall basis, given that the inventory levels are so low and the demand is so high, and this is all end user demand, it's not really a demand which is coming from any investment uh, decisions, right? So in our view, the way we see currently, we are not seeing any impact as far as the demand is concerned. And with the new supply coming in, uh, because the current inventory levels, of course, there's no ready to move in inventory. Uh, we see that uh, uh, our view on this will be that it will continue to sustain. And I don't think there is any expectation to have an over supply situation. Vishek, uh, I also want your view on what you guys are planning ahead. So, of course, Bangalore big, remains your biggest market at the moment. Uh, in terms of the projects that you are going to be launching over the span of the next few quarters, uh, what cities are you keeping an eye on besides Bangalore? If you could also give us an idea about what's in the pipeline for something like a Chennai, Cochin or any others. Of course. Um, so, Chennai, uh, Kochi, Coimbatore, uh, Pune and Mumbai are the markets where we are really focusing on uh, currently for the upcoming quarters in next four to uh, say five quarters uh, as far as the launches are concerned. Uh, and, uh, you know, of this, we have already announced immediately next two or three quarters, we will see, which is including this quarter, we will see launches in Chennai and Kochi and Bangalore itself, of course, and uh, Coimbatore and Pune. Uh, but having said that, I think our new acquisition strategy is clearly focused on the West. Of course, overall, our strategy is focused on the five micro markets, which is Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai, Mumbai and Pune. Uh, and going forward, we will see more and more launches coming, especially in the Western region, uh, because companies really focus on increasing our presence there in Mumbai and Pune.
And in terms of the kind of ticket size that you guys are looking for, I know that it's going to be across several segments, but a ballpark, would most of it be focused on premium? Would most of it be focused at the mid-level? Uh, how are you guys going about that? So, you know, as a group, uh, our strategy is to have a fairly balanced portfolio. Um, of course, we are currently in the luxury category and in the premium and of course, mid-segment and mass housing category along with the plotted development. So, uh, in our, uh, uh, you know, our goal is to have 50% from the premium and luxury category and 50% from mass and mid-segment category. So, uh, that strategy will continue to play out. It's a mixed bag and it gives us a balance in terms of uh, the portfolio and the volumes that we want to achieve across these regions. And of course, we are not really one region focused. So our ability to do, uh, bring in all these categories to the market is much higher. Right. That's the management of Purankara. Talk to us about all sorts of things that are in play for the company going forward. But we shift focus to the pharma space, which in fact has a more than a handful of names buzzing. And right at the top of that list,